I just sleep in this? What is going on? All right, so today we have a fall haul. Gonna be completely honest, all I'm thinking about right now is eating my leftover pizza. Not all this stuff is like fall related. I've just been doing some shopping. So I thought I'd show you guys. I'm going through a phase right now where I'm like not satisfied with my wardrobe situation. I feel like I wear the same exact things every week. So I just wanted to get some new sweaters, new jackets, new shoes, the works. So we have a huge bag here. This is from H&M. I went to H&M, Forever 21, Old Navy, and then did some online shopping. So first let's do Forever 21. I got two of these like huge baggy cable knit sweaters. These are those super slouchy kind of sweaters that you wear with leggings and boots. They're not too scratchy. I ordered these online so I wasn't sure. But they feel like they could be comfortable. This was only $17.80 so freaking score. I really like this light gray shade. I got this pinky tan thing. It's a little more tan than I was envisioning and I'm not really sure how I feel about this color. I'm trying to branch out. For reference, I am a size small and they are really oversized. So I picked up this like t-shirt dress thing on Forever 21 and it's literally just a super baggy giant ass t-shirt. The back has this cutout which I thought was really cool and this was only $12.80. I picture wearing this with like tights and a leather jacket and heeled boots. It just is super comfy. I feel like it's a good layering piece. I did get this necklace and I just wanted a good necklace that I can wear with anything. I really like the look of wearing like flannel with this kind of necklace. I just filmed a tutorial on classic makeup, which is why I'm dressed like this. That video will be up before this, so I'll link it down below in case you want to go check it out. What was I saying? I really like mixing like grunge with these kind of necklaces. So I've been on the freaking hunt for a black leather jacket. Mine literally ripped down the arm. I think I went into literally 20 stores. No one is carrying black leather jackets right now. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they're not in style anymore. It was a little bizarre. H&M finally saved the day. I guess we'll try it on. This is like a moto style jacket. Is that what they're called? H&M jackets just always fit me perfectly. My jean jacket that I always wear is from H&M. Let's show you. This just fits perfectly. I don't plan on zipping this. I never really zip my leather jackets. Arms are good, not too long. I like the little crochet thing or whatever this is, the stitching. Ooh, maybe we'll just keep it on. There was literally one leather jacket in all of Nordstrom's. What is going on? Speaking of Nordstrom's, like that segue. I got this scarf from the BP section and it's this like obnoxiously furry thing, but it's so soft. If they made this in a blanket, I would buy it. It doesn't have a name or anything, but it was $20 from the BP section. I just love this. I feel like this would be good for like going out to dinner when it gets cold out. Leather jacket, boots, you know, the situation. I might just sleep in this. Okay, next I'm gonna show you a couple pairs of shoes that I got online. Hot Look is my place to go when I buy shoes. I have size four feet. I know, wild. So literally the only place I can buy shoes is Nordstrom Rack online or in the store or on Hot Look. Hot Look always has really awesome deals. I picked up these Carlo, I think these are Carlo, what are these? Franco Sarto, okay, no Carlo. Franco Sarto, Sarto. Um, I'm not into like big name brands or anything. I usually just buy what I like. I really liked these, they're genuine leather, so I do have to waterproof them. I liked how they're super low heel that I can actually walk in and I could wear these to work or like walking around. I just want to be comfortable. They had these in black and I believe they had a lighter color as well. I just feel like these will last me forever. If you haven't heard of Hot Look, they're basically a flash sale site. Should have said that first, but I'll link them down below in case you want to check it out. I think you might get $10 off your first order if you sign up with that link. They used to do that. Next, I was a little bit seasonally confused when I ordered these, but uh, I got sandals. I am freaking in love with these. These are Sam Edelman and they're size four. They're just these wee, what, what would you even call this? Like cage sandal that laces up in the front. I love the mirrored heel. How freaking cool is that? They're just super comfortable. They fit perfectly. I'm all about these shoes. Next, I went to Victoria's Secret. Might be TMI, but I wanted like a really good push-up bra. Like I feel like I don't have a good push-up bra and you know when you're wearing a shirt, I just wish the girls looked a little better. So I got this one. And I actually don't normally like these kind of backs. Like I usually just go for like super basic bras. Okay, how am I showing this? It has this super strappy back and I feel like this looks kind of like a swimsuit. It basically has a front closure so you get more push-up action going on. It's a very sexy push-up. That's all it says on here. When you spend $65, you get a free uh, beanie and scarf thing. So I just bought these underwear, not super exciting. They're like the no-show kind. And then you get a free beanie and scarf, which is actually really nice. Like I really like this. This set is $40 alone if you buy it by itself. Well, I'm so excited for winter. Okay, so then I went to Old Navy. I was actually at that mall to get 
something for work and uh, we somehow ended up in Old Navy. So the first thing I got is this jean jacket kind of uh, t-shirt. Super loose button down. I don't know how I don't have one of these yet but I just love the way this looks with black ripped jeans. Really nice. This is a size extra small and it was $24.94. $24.94? That's random. But they were having like an entire store 20% off kind of thing. Then I just got another one of my camis from there. I love Old Navy camis. They're $6 and they're freaking amazing. I know it's normally $12.50 $12 but it was on sale for $6. The material of these is just so nice. I've had my other ones for like a year now and they're still going strong. So if you want good cheap camis, go to Old Navy. Oh, I got one other thing from Nordstrom. So by the time this video is up, I'll probably already be back or I'll be in Ohio right now. But I'm going to Boston, Chicago and Ohio. And in Ohio, I'm staying with my friend and uh, got her these as a little thanks for having me present because adults do that, I think. These are donuts. I got these from Nordstrom and they're like donut thank you cards. How exciting is that? I think this is the last thing. Yeah, I feel like I had a lot more. Okay, so the last thing I got was actually from Vancouver and the street we were staying on Granville Street. Mm, interesting place. Our hostel was on Granville Street and there was a store right next door. I forget what it was called, but the brand is Vero Moda. This is just a tank top and I loved the pattern thing on this. It reminds me of like marble and watercolor mixed. I just thought this would look really cute either to work with like a blazer or just with a leather jacket. Everything's with a leather jacket. I think this was super affordable. It was one of those stores that looked like it was going to be a super expensive boutique and then somehow everything was like under $20. We did film footage in Vancouver, so I'm gonna be having a Vancouver vlog coming soon. Fun fact, I actually dread editing vlogs because there's so much freaking footage to go through. So my vlogs go up at random times. So that was everything. Yeah. If you guys like this video and you wanna see more haul videos, give it a thumbs up so I know. Again, I'll link the makeup that I'm wearing right now down below. Love you guys, thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Can't move in this jacket.